the indescribable, undeniable solarosity of it all is really, really good, okay? Handy dandy spray strips. What do you call these? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sunfruit, definitely worth the sniff. Until the CDC and the hoo he told us about, what is it, vaginal, was it something about cancer? Girl, I don't even know. Flare, the flare. You know, if you wanna be <laughs> extra with it. Flare, de, 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 toi. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. What up, Wagwan? It's your saying, it's your girl, Minna Dibia. And in this video, we are going over the fragrances that I am going to be exploring, loving, spraying, dousing myself in for the month of April. I know the video is a little bit late, but we can't skip out because I now have so many fragrances I'm looking at the shelf right now that I had to figure out a way to make my way through all of them. So I'm pulling out five or six that I'm gonna be using every single month. And we're gonna go over the ones for April. So if you're excited, I want you to keep on watching. Now, I have I've done this for a few months this year thus far so make sure you watch those videos oh and also make sure you're subscribed here follow me on instagram because i'm not here i am there i'm also on tiktok so join me there if, if you're on tiktok if you like those short videos you're going to find your girl over there as well as always i have links to all the products in the description box down below so make sure you check that out as well if you're wondering this is a crop top two-piece outfit from Shein. So I'll link it if you're staring and just don't even know what to do with yourself. The lippy, I did a video on this on Instagram. I'm gonna tell you now because I know I'm gonna get the questions. On the outside, I have Savage from the Lip Bar. On the inside, I have Chai Genius from Maybelline. They're both on Amazon. I'll link in the, in the caption below. So the first fragrance that I wanted to talk to you about is from Ellis Brooklyn. Now, you know, I got my first Ellis Brooklyn fragrance la was it last year or year before, I don't know. They sent me one and it was B and I loved it. So since then I was like, hold on, Ellis Brooklyn, what are we talking about? And they've sent a few, but I've also purchased three of my own during this forest sale. I purchased two more. You know, this was a gift and I love it. So this one is Sunfruit Eau de Parfum and I love fruity fragrances. Just that whiff, yes, so good. Now, I did decide that in this iteration of the monthly you know, fragrance videos, I was going to come correct. So I did pull out my professional handy dandy spray strips. What do you call these? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I did pull this out because your girl's trying to do a little something something in this here video, you understand? Mm, yes, off rip, I'm getting lemon. Let's take a look at the, the, the notes, okay? I literally almost said vanilla and it's in here, okay. So this is considered a fresh solar. I love this, here's why. The other one that I got, which is part of my Sephora haul, is Salt Amazing. It's also a fresh solar. Never heard of fresh solar until these fragrances. Absolutely in love with fresh solar as the scent type. The fragrance family is fresh. It has fresh fig, hand-picked jasmine, and vanilla planifolia, honey. Mm. I knew I smelled the vanilla. This is really good. If you love a fresh scent, I don't know how to describe fresh solar to you. The vanilla in it makes it feel warm to me, but it's the solar, you know? The indescribable, undeniable solarosity of it all is really, really good, okay? Sunfruit, definitely worth the sniff. Now, so funny, I mentioned Ellis Brooklyn B, right? I did pull this out for this month's use. This one is just about done, not even kidding. I used Ellis B to make atomizers, atomizers, whatever you call it. I have an accent. I used it to put in the atomizers a lot of times. So this is almost done. In fact, I should have, ah, oh my God. I'm going to buy another one. The sale is not over yet. I'm going to buy another one because this, I don't even need to spray it, but I'm going to. Wow, just wow, just wow. Certainly a warm and sweet gourmand. Absolutely divine. Almost like hazelnut or something. Just amazing. The fragrance family is warm and spicy. He notes dark rum, vegan honey, and vanilla bean. Yes. Yes, yes, oh my God, it has sandalwood in here, cocoa, absolute. Didn't I say I smelled hazelnut? I wanted to say chocolate, but I wasn't sure. Yes, wow, wow, 
Wow, you might think that this is a fall scent, but to me, similar to makeup, folks do whatever the heck they wanna do these days. I believe you can do whatever the heck you wanna do when it comes to fragrance too. This is so good. Like, I can totally see this for the summertime, you know what I'm saying? I can totally see this in a woman cozy turtleneck blanket. Also, you know, I can see this whenever you please. You see what I'm saying? This was my introduction to Ellis Brooklyn, and I hope that it's clear now why I fell in love because this is this is phenomenal. This is hands down phenomenal. Oh my God. So the other fragrance that I have that I'm using for April is discontinued? Killian Princess is discontinued? I had no idea. Oh my God. Do you have this? Come and let me know. It's vanilla, powdery, warm, spicy, fresh, ginger, amber. What, what, what is this? This is Fragrantica. Oh my goodness. So now it's on eBay and I'm sure it's gonna be an insane price on eBay. This is sick. I mean, I've had this over a year, so I get it, but wow, did you know that? <laughs> wow, it's so sexy, soft. Is this a floral? I can't even remember. I can't even find the notes and everything. But this is really good. Oh my goodness, so no link to this, but if you have it, or if you've sniffed it, I want you to comment and let me know. My gosh. I can't even talk about how I want to. I'm so done with that. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. So the next fragrance, right? I hadn't ever smelled this. This, I believe, was a recommendation under one of my videos. So when I was in Duty Free in Mexico last year sometime, I was like, oh, let me smell Kenzo Flower. And when I smelled this, I was blown away. Blown away. I had to get the big one. This thing is mad huge. First of all, the bottle is very unique, you know, like a flower stem, just really pretty. And this has Sicilian lemons, Bulgarian rose water, vanilla white musk. It just smells like elevated baby powder to me. And I love that, okay? All the girls know about baby powder, honey. We used to put baby powder everywhere, okay? Until the CDC and the hoo he told us about. What is it, vaginal, was it something about cancer? Girl, I don't even know. They said something and we stopped, okay? We were like, okay, we're not gonna put powder in all the crevices of the world, but we still love us some baby powder, baby oil scented things. And this, when I first smelled it, oh, it's undeniable. You know, Chanel number no. five to me gives powder, but ladyish, I like it. My mom uses it, I don't want it for myself, but this gives me powder, but more young, you know? Cause I'm young, hello? Uh, mm. Yes, it still gives me mature. It still gives me sexy, you know? It still gives me, you know, down payment on the house. You understand what I'm saying? It still gives me 401k. You feel what I mean? It is just so good. So, yes to the powder. Yes, feels sexy, fresh. I can see this like after a shower. I can see this in the daytime. It's not giving me pool vibes because it's like powder, like baby powder, but elevated, okay? This you might wanna, you can layer too. I don't like to layer my fragrances. I really wanna enjoy them all by themselves. This gives me very fresh, clean, beautiful, maybe even to go to bed. Like I said, daytime. If you have this or if you've smelled this, let me know. Clearly I have broken this down into atomizers as well because I haven't used this actual glass very much. I have put this in my purse, in travel, all of it, and I have enjoyed it thoroughly. Now, another one that I was really shocked about is from Zara. So I had heard about Ebony Wood. There's Ebony Woods and there's Ebony Wood. I'm looking, I can't see it, but one of those, right? It was at Zara, because one's at Zara and one's at Sephora. So I had gone into Zara, you saw my weekly vlog, then you saw the one where the bodyguard escorted us to Zara, okay? Then I smelled Ebony Wood or Woods, whatever it is at Zara, and it smelled really, really good, so I got that too. And then I was smelling all the other ones, Zara Emotions, and I was like, wait, Fleur de Patchouli, hold on a second, Patchouli Flower? Is that what you're saying? Because that's what I'm getting. That's the drift that I'm feeling. Here we go. Fleur de patchouli. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It smells like wine. It smells like flowers. Fleur de fleur. You know, if you want to be extra with it. Fleur patchouli. I'm not sure if the D, do you say the D? D, D, E, D, toi? I don't know. You may not even say that. Again, it's giving ghetto, but I I want to elevate this. I really do, believe me. Wow, this smells so good. Like, I've been killing this thing and I've only had it for what, a month or two? I gotta buy another one, a bigger version. This is fantastic. I love it so much. I'm blown away. Do you have any Zara fragrances? What do you have? This is so good. It just smells like wine night. I don't know. It's just, oh. 
so amazing <laughs> so good and the last one is out of stock i'm so annoyed this is tom ford rose de Chine. now i got this in gratis at the tom ford beauty event if you saw the vlog you watched the get ready with me all the things then you know what i'm referring to it was such a nice experience and part of what we were gifted was a fragrance girl i was like i didn't want to be that, that person just assuming i was going to get stuff because you know what happens you make assumptions so you know i was keeping it real cute and then when i found out i was like oh my god i loved all three okay rose de sheen rose prick and then rose d'amalfi i purchased rose prick during the sephora sale because i just needed it it smelled so good but there i had it was so hard to choose but i settled on rose de sheen i love this first of all it's time for beauty first of all that's number one okay and number two Mm, the longevity of it all, the scent of it all, just the amazingness of it all. It's giving money, it's giving rich rose, like a wine as well. It's a warm floral, love that. Keynotes rose absolute, rose water extract, golden peony. This is amazing. It has absolute myrrh, it's smoky which is just so fantastic for me. It definitely does give that smokiness to it. It is so good, like just phenomenal. A scent combination I've never smelled before. So amazing. I love this so much. I now have three Tom Ford fragrances. I am building my collection. I love each and every one of them. They are so worth it. I did get Rose Prick during the Sephora Savings event. If you are of insider, I would definitely say grab it during an event, grab it during the fall version of it, what have you. Or if you if you boiling, shock boiling, don't wait, don't deprive yourself. All good things, you know me. I love to wear fragrance all day, every day. Does not matter what I'm doing, where I'm going, I'm home, I'm going out. I want to smell good at all times. So your girl is dousing herself and being unapologetic about the whole thing. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to know which of these you've tried, smelled, love, don't like, let me know. One of you mentioned that I should try Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc? Mont Blanc? I'm trying to get the accent. Mont Blanc, because the T's, you don't pronounce the T in a C. Mont Blanc, and I, I forget the actual name. Somebody mentioned Julia has a gun, super dose, but then I looked at the, the reviews and they looked really bad. So I was like, wait, what? Then again, you know, everyone's different. It's very personal when it comes to fragrances. You know, I might love something, you might hate it. You know, someone said one of the fragrances I recommend did. They said they smelled it and they, they threw up, you know? So I do understand that. But comment below, let me know what recommendations you have. I'm always shopping for a new fragrance, honey. I want to know. As always, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you watched this video. I'm going to link two more for you to choose from to watch because I don't want you to go too far. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.